gescampt. Deswegen. Still offline for me. I'm seeing that too, Jim. Four minutes to game time. It's digital. Okay, it's online. It's online. All right, here comes some trailers, guys, to start you off with. Two million dead in the first day. Another seven million by the end of the first week. Every defense annihilated. All our forces on the run. Regrouping somewhere. Reports are coming in from other major cities. It's a well-coordinated attack. And so far, it's been damned effective. Don't know what they are, what they want, or where they came from. Only one thing is certain. If Shepard doesn't bring help soon... <laughs> be an earth left to save. Happened there? No idea. All right, everybody, welcome to Imba TV, where everything is imbalanced. Uh, Mini Gris, you got some news for us, don't you? Yeah, I got some news. Uh, what I've heard is that the mistakes we had yesterday with the Belknight servers and thing is that some servers went down in Frankfurt, and it's all because of Telia or whatever, uh, Felia in Sweden. Uh, they had some problems with some servers, and they fixed it about 1 a.m., uh, Europe time so we should be alright today but the problem is not fixed entirely I see so uh, fortunately yes. I, I'm logged into Battle.net how about you guys yeah I'm logged in too man <laughs> yeah we're logged in uh, they found a way around it but they haven't fixed the so problem there, it could be a laggy day today on Battle.net is what you're saying <laughs> it could be. It could be. All but, right. You know, well, the brackets we'll are up. We got almost 500 people. Well, let's go ahead and talk about who's going to be uh, in this tournament first, and then we'll go. And then you, while well, you guys can find a match, there's only 20, uh, 20 people that were signed up, and 20 top 200 people, sorry, that were signed up. And it looks like only 14 are here. Kalen's one of them. Clay V, Beastie QT. Uh, Cypher Feast, Bling, Unique, RGI Rolls, Latin, Nogrim, and, uh, let's see here, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, Fargo, Fargo, Underdark, Empire Cause, Cyplo, and Forsen. So. Cyplo's here? Yeah, Cyplo is here. He's checked in. Awesome. Uh, we're going to interview Cyplo on Friday, so that'll be great. He's going to be talking about the King of the Month tournament, which happens next Sunday. Awesome. And by the time by the time we interview him on Friday, the all four of the King of the Month participants will have been determined. So it'll be interesting to see his take on that pretty big event. 
That's for sure. All right. So the grid is up. We're going to try to find some matches now. Thanks, everybody, for joining us this morning on Wednesday, the 23rd. Well, it's morning for me. It's nighttime for you guys. That's afternoon for me. As we skate across the globe. You guys want to join in on me? PV PvP here. It's uh, me, Kami, against N-Shade. Join in on me, please. I got a Protoss versus Zerg with Diplo in it. Yeah. Okay. Want to follow that one? A Protoss versus Zerg might be a bit better. It's up to you guys. Minigris is in here with me. All right, let me join in on you guys. One second. All right. And here comes the joining bandwagon. All right. And if Fire Silver isn't here, we're just going to let Minigris handle this game. I'm going to get out of here and look for another game. Sounds good, Jim. Countdown has begun. We're ready to get this Craft Cup started. Here we go. All right, everybody, welcome to Imba TV, where everything is in balance. We've got Cyplo facing off against NTO uh, Marines. And it uh, looks like it's going to be an interesting match here as we get this Craft Cup number four, light number 42 started. Nice Wednesday. Awesome nonstop StarCraft action today brought to you by us here at Imbalance TV. I'm here with Mini Gris, and uh, he's going to go ahead and take it away once we all get loaded up here. Yeah, and we're on the Selnaga Caverns for the day, the first map for this day. We get Cyplo spawning at the top location at number one, and we have NTO Marine down at the bottom at six. And let's see here what happens. That's right, uh, we do see an Overlord leaving Marine's base right now. Cyplo being the pink Protoss, and uh, purple Zerg right here on this purple creep. And uh, what are you expecting to see from this, Minigris? Uh, I'm expecting to see Cyplo do... Uh, excuse me for being a Cyplo fan and everything, but I think he'll be doing a quick three gate then push in well let's see if that happens um, just as Cyplo sends out his first probe scout he's going to see what marines has which is nothing you know just drones yeah. normal uh, start out for marines no ten pull no cheesiness there both these players seem to be pretty good players I do not know much about NTO marines if anybody has any information on him I would like to hear it um, we do see the first body pool and extractor going down right now for Marines, as well as the first gateway and assimilator for Cyplo. Yeah. So, though they are not mirrored in races, it's quite the mirror build, I have to say, because they're both started off the same way. Definitely. It's and we do see an interest, uh, nice pylon placement here. Um, to be able to, uh, you know, see the rest of Cyplo's base and keep his awareness on his base. Uh, no. Probe moving back and forth, trying to contest any type of expansion, but it doesn't look like in Marines is uh, interested in any type of expansion. And we get a nice dance by an overlord here. Some zerglings coming out as well as um, as well as a queen on the way. See, it's and a metabolic speed boost. Speed. Yep, that's right. Yep. Zergling speed, for sure. And as as that speed was being researched, we do see that the drones were taken off the spawning pool, or I mean, off the extractor. My bad. As we see some lings go across the field, six of them. 
Going to do a little bit of a Jump poke. in their way about up to the wall off that Cyclos created. And 98% wall off with the Sealot standing there doing nothing. Well, uh, blocking the way, making sure those Zerglings don't get into the main mineral line just as this, uh, just as a Stalker comes out and we'll be able to start doing some damage to these Zerglings. Yeah, so it's it looks like quite the normal surge against Krogo's game on this map. That's right, and mm -hmm. that Zealot goes down, and these Zerglings are in the base now. Speed will be done in just a few seconds here. That was not what I had expected. Well, there are two Stalkers out now, and these Stalkers will be able to do some damage. We, Cyplo does need something to block off that... Uh, that wall there and he's going to use a probe to do so just as these zerglings go all the way around the base and see this three gate opener nice pro uh, nice uh, pylon placement here yeah. it will go down uh cyplo is going to be in a little bit of a scatter here as he moves these stalkers around his base as more and more zerglings keep coming in as this goes down there is an expansion by marines going down right now and cyplo is starting to lose more and more probes This does not look good for Cyplo, but I think he can manage this push. And the thing yes. is, is Cyplo's still ahead on probes. Cyplo still has 16 probes compared to the 12 that uh, that Marines has. So Marines has been cutting pr uh, drones just to uh, you know just to push out as many Zerglings as he possibly can. Cyplo is now de successfully defended. Warp Gate Tech is finished. Now uh, you know units will be warping in, and there are two zealots here. I mean, two stalkers here at the wall off. So I don't think these Zerglings are going to have a chance. Great defense no. by Cyplo, and great way to stay ahead in the economy. Yeah. Uh, as once again, my judgment got a hold of me, but at least I see my three uh, gateways, as I said. That's right. You did call that right for sure. And we do see uh, Marines sitting with uh, with some, you know, with some more uh, Zerglings just hanging out right outside this ramp. Going to do a little yeah. bit more of a poke. Maybe even a mistake. But a Roach Warren is going down right now for Marines. And we see Cyplo moving out, so moving out and uh, getting ready to take his expansion. So a decent early aggression by Marines, but I don't think it was worth it because he had to cut those drones. Now he's got to play the catch-up game. Still, uh, Cyplo sitting on 24 probes compared to the 23, oh, well, now 23 drones. So uh, Marines has now caught up. Marines is also on two bases with uh, these 24. And look at this, second base goes down for Cyplo right now. These links are going to poke around and going to, you know, going to be able to see this expansion, of course. So... Marines knows all about the expansion, knows about what Cyplo is building, he knows about the three gate and everything like that. So uh, let's see what Marines does in reaction to this. Forge also going down by Cyplo right now as these links just poke in and out of Cyplo's natural expansion. Uh, Marines, you know, just droning up with the constant poking of those. Uh, those Zerglings feeling comfortable enough to drone up and get his economy over his opponent. Uh, looking at it, we do see that now Marines is sitting at 34 drones compared to the 28 that Cyplo has. So the yeah. income is now sitting in Marines' favor. And we do see a probe going around and scouting into Marines' base. So Cyplo now knows of the build order, knows about the Roach Warren and everything like that. In reaction, we see a Stargate go down. And we get a little bit of a poke from the Zerglings from Marine, but it gets shut down. And we see that Marine's getting his, getting two more extractors up at his expansion, as well as running his Zerglings around the middle of the map. 